Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. My guest today has played the Grand Old Opry 17 times, has opened for huge artists like Reba McIntyre, and was runner up on Blake Sheldon's team on season nine of The Voice. Emily Ann Roberts, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Oh, thank you for talking with me. I'm so excited to get to talk to you. Are you ready to get started with the questions? I am. Okay, question number one. When did you know you wanted to be a singer? Well, honestly, I think the first time that I thought that being a singer would be really cool and really fun was when I saw a TV show called Hannah Montana. Do you know what Hannah Montana Montana. is? I thought that Hannah Montana was so cool. And I thought, oh my goodness, if I could ever be a singer one day, that would be so cool. But then as I got older and I started just realizing how much music meant to me and how much I love to sing, I thought, well, maybe I can do this and make music that means a lot to other people too. And so it had a deeper meaning, but that was probably when I was first inspired is when I was just a little girl. You kind of look like Lily from Hannah Montana. Thank you. What a compliment. I love Lily. Me too. (laughs) What has been the coolest moment of your singing career thus far? Probably playing the Grand Ole Opry. Have you been to the Grand Ole Opry yet? No. (gasps) You need to come. Maybe next time I play, we can get you and your family to come. How cool would that be? That'd be so cool. That'd be awesome. I get to meet you in person. Yes, we need to do it. Okay, I'll stay in touch with you and we'll make it happen. But that was the coolest moment because I grew up singing along on the radio with a guy named Ricky Skaggs. I was a big fan. He was a bluegrass and country artist back in the day and he's still doing it. But um, when I was little, everybody loved Ricky Skaggs and my dad loved Ricky Skaggs. And so I would sing along to his songs on the radio and he actually introduced me to the Grand Ole Opry to the audience for the very first time so that was like a pinch me moment for sure yeah that's so cool it's cool do you ever get stage fright and what do you do to overcome it I do get stage fright sometimes um I usually get nervous just right before I go on stage um and I have all kinds of things running through my mind, but my biggest thing to overcome it is I just remind myself to have fun and to do what I love. You know, I think a lot of times when we're worried about being perfect or something or worried about messing up, then it takes the fun out of it. But if we're just focused on doing what we love and having fun, um, then that always gets me through. And I always pray too. And that makes me feel a whole lot better. Yeah, I do plays. So I feel like the same way. I feel like I, I think that. And some of the stuff that you just said, I can use to help me now. Yes, you just you just remind yourself that you're going to go have fun and you take the pressure off. Yeah. Yeah. If mm-hmm. you could perform with anyone in the world, who would you choose? Dolly Parton. She's my favorite. Yeah, she's really good. She's really good. What's your favorite song that she has? Probably a song called Nine to Five. Do you know that one? Yeah. I'm I'm I do singing lessons and so I was thinking about doing that song for my recital, actually. That would be amazing. I'll send you a video. Great. Yes. Us, I live in Idaho. Have you ever been here and tried our famous potatoes? And what's your favorite way to have a potato? I have never been to Idaho. And I don't know if I've tried your famous potatoes. Aren't all potatoes from Idaho or no? <laughs> Mostly. Well, you need. we need to change that. You do need to come to Idaho. I know. I do need to come to Idaho. And I do love potatoes. They are one of my favorite foods. Um... I can't pick just one way, so I'm going to give you my top two. Number one is a baked potato with cheese and bacon and butter and sour cream. And then number two is French fries covered in whatever you want to cover them in. Ketchup, cheese, chili, whatever. Just load the French fries up. They're like the best little like thing to talk. I love a French fry. Oh, or ranch. 
that's really good with potatoes. Ranch is so good with potatoes. I love ranch and fries. Me too. Well, when you come to I, if you come to Idaho, and when you come to Idaho, you can stay at our house, and we can have potatoes every single night. No way. Yeah. I wish we could shake on it. We got to make that a deal. I like. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? You know, I really hope that I'm still doing what I love. I think that that's exactly what I'll be doing. And I hope that I'm singing all over the country, maybe all over the world. That would be a good goal. But um, I hope maybe in five years, uh, me and my husband have uh, our first baby. We'll see. That'd be fun. Yeah, it has to be (laughs) cool. You're gonna if you if you get pregnant and have a baby, you're gonna have to tell me. I will. I will definitely I can babysit. You could babysit. It's yeah. probably it's probably gonna be maybe three to four years, but within five, I think that it'd be time. Well, I'll be like thirteen or fourteen and I can babysit. It's perfect. It's perfect timing. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Can you share a piece of advice that helped you in your life that might help me and our viewers? Well, I guess my biggest piece of advice that I have been given is to be true to who you are. All right. And I know that people say that all the time, you know, be yourself and be true to yourself and all that stuff. But the reason that I think it's so important is because we were all created so unique And we have special gifts and talents that God gave us that he crafted us so perfectly with. And when we try to be somebody else, the world misses out on all those amazing things that he gave us. And so I really try to remind myself that because it's easy to compare yourself to other people and think, oh, I should be more like them. But that is a lie. You should always just be you because you were created so perfect and you were created to do things that only you can do that those people can't and so it's so important to just be true to yourself um and so that would be my biggest piece of advice that I hold on to and that I hope encourages other people thank you so much for sharing your faith and talking with me today Oh, thank you you are precious I can't wait to meet you in person next time I play the Opry we're gonna get you here okay Okay, my dad has a question he wants me to ask, so. Okay. Oh, my dad is obsessed with Reva, and so he wants to know what it was like performing with her and meeting her. Okay, I'm obsessed with Reva, too. She is amazing. I'll tell you what, Reva is so down to earth, and I have been able to open for a lot of people, but Uh, well majority of the time those artists don't take time to to say hi to the opening acts and Reba was the first major artist that I had ever opened up for that took the time to come and meet me and take a picture and get to know me and then she invited us after the show to hang out with her and her band that's yeah. so cool. It's so cool. And it was so cool because she didn't have to do that, but she cared that much and she's that real and that genuine. Um, so that would be probably my favorite memory of of being able to open for her because she cared enough to to just get to know me and make me feel welcome and um important to be there. And and a lot of artists don't do that. So she is top notch. What do you do while the like, since you open for them, what do you do while they're doing their whole concert backstage? Oh, I go out to the audience and I watch because <laughs> because I want to learn. So I always use it as an opportunity to learn um, because obviously they've been doing it longer than me and they've been more successful than I am. And so I like to go out and see what they do that the crowd loves and see the moments in their set that you know, inspire me and, and uh, push me to grow and be better. And so I went out to the front during that concert and I watched every minute of Reba's show. It was amazing. You got the good seats. I know. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for talking with me today. Oh, honey, thank you. It was so good to talk to you. You are precious and you are one of the best interviewers I have ever, ever 
talked with. I mean that. You're one of the best people that I've ever interviewed. No way. You are so sweet. (laughs) Thank you, sister. You are so sweet. It was so good to talk to you. I hope I can see one of your concerts and meet you. I hope so, too. We're going to make it happen, okay? Hey, thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proudly supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.